Welcome to the world of LGB. LGB Universal Power, the universal program to power your LGB model railroad. It's a program with unlimited possibilities. LGB Universal Power is a complete program of LGB power supplies and controls. It is a sophisticated system where everything is compatible. Transformers, throttles, digital components like the train mouse, loco remote and universal remote, as well as switch decoders and feedback interfaces all the way to the MTS computer interface for LGB fans interested in high-tech operation. LGB Universal Power offers you an entire program of power packs, throttles, and controls from just one source. No other G-Scale manufacturer offers such a complete program. Or the famous LGB Quality. After all, LGB is recognized as the first and best model railroad for indoors and outdoors in G-Scale. Whether you operate your layout with analog controls or use the digital multi-train system, LGB Universal Power has the optimal components because they all come from the same source. operation and the digital LGB multi-train system work. With conventional analog operation, the motor is supplied with DC power directly from the tracks. When you turn up the throttle, the voltage in the track increases and the loco moves, forward or backwards. But if two locos are on the same track, they both get the same voltage and must move at the same time and in the same direction. To control several locos independently on an analog layout, you have to split the layout into electrically separated track blocks. That requires a lot of complex wiring and expensive controls, and you still don't get a satisfactory solution. The digital multi-train system is quite different. The track always carries maximum digital voltage. All the commands to the locos are relayed through the track as well. Each loco is equipped with a decoder, which is wired between the track and the motors. The decoder has an address and responds only to signals, which are sent from a remote via the central station to that address. The decoder then controls the motor and other functions of the loco. For example, lights on, lights off, and horn. <coughs> Sounds 
sound locos offer many additional special functions. For example, raising and lowering the pantographs, or even announcements by the conductor. Just listen. Of course, you can also trigger all functions using the wireless system. And with a constant voltage on the track, lights, smoke generators, and sound operate even when a loco is standing. Of course, you can use locos equipped with decoders on analog layouts as well. Because universal power is a system that offers perfection. Universal Power offers unimagined operating possibilities for your railroad. Now the entire family can have fun with trains together. Everyone has their own locomotive and is an active player. There are unlimited possibilities for unlimited enjoyment. LGB Universal Power is a program with a future. All components, whether trains or controls, are designed to work together and it will remain that way in the future. Because all components come from Ernst Paul Lehmann and not from a variety of sources. Such a perfect program is available only from LGB and no other manufacturer anywhere in the world. LGB starter sets contain all you need to get started in the world of LGB. A locomotive, passenger or freight cars, a power pack, and a weather-resistant track circle with solid brass rails. Setting up the layout is easy and takes only a few minutes. Included track clips keep the tracks from pulling apart. Make sure the numbers on the clips face down. The power pack and the starter set provides a track current of 1 amp. Use the track power cable to connect the tracks to the power pack. And now you're ready to start. You're ready to run your train. Expanding your layout and entering the digital world is as easy as setting up your starter set. Additional LGB products you need are station and siding track sets, multi-train system, train mouse, and a powerful transformer. We'll start the first step of our layout expansion with track expansion set number one, the station track set. It takes very little time to assemble the track expansion set. Then you have to separate the track circle from the starter set and insert the assembled station track set into the track circle. To expand your layout further, use the siding track set. Assembling this set also takes only a few minutes.
LGB offers two MTS starter packs. The first, item number 55100, contains a train mouse, a locomotive with the multi-train system decoder already installed, and the digital central station. Ideally, you'll use the powerful 50110 5-amp AC transformer. If you already own two locomotives, you may be interested in the 55105 MTS starter pack. Instead of a loco, this set includes a decoder for installation in your existing loco. The central station receives the commands from the MTS controls, combines them in the so-called NMRA protocol, and relays them to the tracks. The transformer supplies the operating voltage for the central station. Without the transformer, nothing works. We'll use the power pack from the starter set later. Now we'll show you how to connect the cables. To provide current, connect the included red-blue cable to the MTS central station. Attach the wire ends using a small screwdriver. Please check that the wires are securely fastened. Now, we'll connect the transformer. Connect the wire ends to the terminals. One wire goes into the black terminal, the other into the white one. Take the cable that you've already connected to the tracks and connect it to the MTS central station. Make sure you match the colors correctly. Connect the train mouse to the MTS central station using the round DIN plug. Now you can start operating the multi-train system. The MTS central station is programmed for operating up to eight locos. With the new central station, type 2, you can use up to 23 loco addresses. Also, you can connect additional 5 amp power extenders. If you want to operate a loco without a decoder, you have to reset the central station to the 7 plus 1 mode. Press both the reset and the 7 plus 1 buttons at the same time. With the new central station, press the 0 plus 22 button. By simply switching between loco addresses 1 and 8, you can control both locos from the train mouse. Loco 1 operates using its installed decoder. Loco 8 operates without a decoder. With these components, you have entered the digital world of the LGB multi-train system. The following steps show you additional digital components. With these components, your layout becomes even more attractive and interesting. The Loco Remote offers the ultimate and convenient Loco operation. It offers many more functions than the train mouse. You can use the Loco Remote with the multi-train system or for analog operation with the wireless transmitter and wireless receiver. Disconnect the train mouse cable from the MTS central station. Plug the Y cable into the socket. Connect the train mouse and the local remote to the two ends of the Y cable. Now you can assign a control to each loco. Connect the remote using the supplied wire or you can use the convenient wireless system, wireless transmitter and wireless receiver. We'll show you later how that works.
If you want to connect more MTS controls to the MTS central station, you need the MTS remote adapter. To power all these controls, you can use the power pack from the starter set. The LGB Universal Remote is truly a universal tool. Connect it to the MTS Remote Adapter as well. Now, we need the power pack from the starter set. The more components you connect to the LGB bus, the more power you need. The MTS Remote Adapter offers more power and additional terminals for the controls connected to the LGB bus. Lighten the load on the track power transformer, we will now use the power pack from the starter set. Its output current of 1 amp is perfect for this purpose. Now you can attach more LGB controls to the MTS remote adapter. First, the loco remote. The ultimate control for your LGB layout is the Universal Remote. It lets you use the full potential of the LGB multi-train system. You can control all functions of your layout from the Universal Remote. Connect the Universal Remote to one of the terminals on the MTS Remote Adapter. In addition, the Universal Remote can program loco and switch decoders. To program a decoder, we need the following elements as shown here in detail for a switch decoder. The universal remote, the programming insert, a switch drive, the switch decoder, a connecting cable from the switch drive to the switch decoder, a piece of wire or a paper clip cut in half, a screwdriver, a pair of pliers, and the transformer. For programming, simply pull out the insert with the connecting cable from the universal remote and insert the programming insert. The programming insert has four wires in different colors. Connect the white and brown cable to the input terminals of the switch decoder. To avoid wiring errors, this cable is labeled LGB decoder. Connect the green and yellow cable labeled TROFO to the transformer. Be careful to avoid wiring errors here. If you mix up the connections for the decoder and transformer, you'll destroy the remote. To program a switch decoder, you have to bridge the programming terminals. Cut as shown, a paper clip is ideal for bridging the terminals. Now, connect the switch decoder to the switch drive. Use the white and orange cable. All switch decoders are factory preset to addresses 1 through 4. Our first switch decoder, SD1 for short, does not need to be programmed at all. The factory programmed addresses are all we need. However, we've got to program SD2, our second switch decoder, to address 5. After you've plugged in the transformer, the display of the universal remote shows the letter P. This means the remote is ready to program. Manually set the switch drive to the center position. Press 1 to select the register, then press 5. This selects the address block 5 to 8. Press the right arrow button to start programming. If the switch drive resets during programming, we know the programming was successful.
Converting the switches from manual to electric operation is a big step forward when expanding your LGB layout. Converting your switches is quick and easy. Remove two screws, insert the electric switch drive, and replace the screws. That's all. The electric switch drives are not included in the track expansion sets. You'll have to buy them separately. Installing the switch decoder is just as quick and easy. The tracks transmit commands as well as power to the switch decoder. Now we've got a little time to show you the switch decoder with its many applications. Essentially, the switch decoder is a universal decoder for switching and setting things. You can use it to set EPL accessories, to operate lights and LEDs, whether continuous or flashing like at a level crossing or create special effects like flashing warning lights. From the data that comes through the tracks, the decoder selects what's important for the connected accessories. If it receives a command, it analyzes the received data and transmits the command to the accessory. Each decoder terminal has its job assigned when it is programmed using the universal remote. Each switch decoder can set up to four switches or signals. Here you can see yourself how quick and easy you can connect a signal Signals number 2 and 3 are connected to the second switch decoder. To receive feedback from the layout, for example how a switch is set, the position of a signal or where your logos are, you need the MTS feedback interface. In our figure it's labeled RM. The first feedback interface in a chain is the master and must receive an ID number. The ID number is programmed separately. The master control is connected to a LGB bus terminal. All other feedback interfaces don't need an ID number and are connected via slave terminals. To program the ID number, disconnect the rectangular plug of the wire that comes from the MTS remote adapter, that is, the LGB bus wire. Set the dip switches according to the instructions. Reconnect the cable. The red LED flashes of programming has been successful. Now, remove the cable once more. Reset the dip switches to their initial position, off. To program an address with the feedback interface, repeat the individual steps. The instructions explain how to set the dip switches.
track contacts are very important for all LGB layouts. Track contacts are switches that are triggered by magnets on the locos. Connecting track contacts takes little time. Bridge the two outer terminals with a short wire. Connect the center and one outer terminal to the feedback interface. Place the cover, it clicks in place, that's all. Connect the other end of the cable to the feedback interface. Train detection modules are another useful addition to your LGB layout. Train detection modules tell you or your PC where your trains and cars equipped with lights are located. They are used and programmed exactly the same way as the NTS feedback interfaces. You can use them as masters or as slaves. Before you can use a train detection module, you have to electrically insulate one rail of the track sections where you want to detect your trains. To do that, we've got to remove the existing rail joiners and replace them with the yellow insulated rail joiners. Now you can reassemble the tracks. The MTS train detection module has to be programmed for its address block. Since it works as a slave in this case, it doesn't need an ID number. Please note, do not program the MTS train detection module if it is installed. Now connect both separated track sections to the train detection module. Connect the tracks each to the center connectors on terminals A, B, C, or D. From now on, power no longer is routed directly to the tracks, but through the train detection module. This enables the train detection module to determine whether the track section it feeds is occupied. Whether just one loco, an entire train, or simply a single car equipped with lights, it doesn't matter. Each train detection module can power four separate track sections. As usual, use the red and blue cable to connect power to the red and blue connectors. Connecting one single terminal is sufficient. All terminals are connected internally, so you can use them to distribute track power to several cables. Finally, connect the MTS train detection module to the slave socket of the MTS feedback interface. You can further enhance your layout using MTS display modules. Using these modules, you can display the settings of switches and signals or show whether track sections are occupied. You can install a simple light next to the switch or build an impressive control panel for your entire layout. The display modules feature eight terminal contacts with one relay each. You can display the settings of up to eight switches or the conditions in eight track sections. We'll show you on our sample layout how to connect two MTS display modules. First, connect the black and white cables. The terminals have eight relay contacts. Each can handle a current of up to one amp. 
The relay contacts are electrically separate from the layout, so you can use any voltage up to 24 volts to power lights or displays. It doesn't matter whether you use AC or DC. As before, we use the power pack from the starter set as a power supply. The display module has eight terminals. When connected to the LGB bus, up to eight different settings of MTS train detection modules or MTS feedback interfaces can be displayed. As we've shown in detail with the MTS feedback interface, you can program the MTS display module to different address blocks. Finally, we make the LGB bus connection to the MTS remote adapter. Once everything's connected properly, the display modules in our miniature control panel can start working. To eliminate the cable from the remote to the central station or to the MTS remote adapter, you can equip each remote with a wireless transmitter. To do so, you need only two additional LGB products, a wireless transmitter and a wireless receiver. The wireless receiver receives data from those remotes equipped for wireless control. It relays the data to the LGB bus. Use the included cable with two narrow rectangular connectors to connect the terminal marked LGB bus on the wireless receiver to the corresponding terminal on the MTS remote adapter. Finally, insert the antenna into the hole in the cover of the wireless receiver. You'll also need the wireless sender. It transmits all commands to the wireless receiver. Installation is simple. Pull the insert with the connecting cable out of the bottom of the remote and slide in the wireless sender. To send commands, you have to insert four AA batteries into the remote. It's important to use high quality batteries like alkaline batteries. Remove the batteries when the remote is in storage. And now, we'll show you the advanced possibilities for operating your LGB layout. Operating your trains from your PC. The MTS computer interface contains the necessary interface as well as the required cables and software. Use the included interface cable to connect the LGB interface to an unused RS-232 interface on your PC. Then, connect the interface to the MTS remote adapter. By now, we are familiar with the LGB bus cables and their rectangular connectors. Insert the included CD-ROM and install the MTS software using the setup program. You'll need Windows 95 or 98 because MTS PC is a 32-bit program. Look in the instructions for detailed descriptions of the individual steps. 
By the way, you can download the entire software as well as the latest updates free of charge at www.lgb.com. The download gets you the full feature software so you can build your dream layout on your PC. Now, have fun in the world of MTS PC with LGB.